What's up guys, Jace from Bright Black. I had a couple of people over the last couple of gigs question about how I got my live sound. So I thought I'd do a couple of minutes, a quick rig rundown about how my live sound's achieved and uh, hopefully give you a bit more of an insight on how I do it. So we'll start off with some guitars. Let's go. Okay, so we'll start off with, uh, with my main guitar. It's a uh, Gibson Les Paul 2021 standard, um, iced tea. Uh, what makes this one a bit more unique is I've changed the bridge pickup out and that's running a, uh, a bare knuckle Peacemaker which is Chris Robertson's uh, signature pickup from Blackstone Cherry. Uh, apart from that, it's pretty much standard. And that's my uh, that's my main, main guitar. And as a backup to my um, 2021 Les Paul standard, we've got uh, another Gibson Les Paul. This is a 1997 Studio. And what makes this one a bit more unique is that the bridge pickup is swapped out with a bare knuckle holy diver. Gives it a bit more of a fat sort of 80s sort of a sound. It sort of complements this uh, particular guitar. So yeah, that's my main backup. Now I thought I'd throw this one in here. This one is uh, one I like to use in the studio quite a bit. This is a PRS 245. And this has a bare knuckle mule in the bridge position makes that one a little bit more unique. Uh, don't tend to use this one much live. Um, obviously I've got my two Les Pauls, one as the main, one as a backup. Uh, but this one is uh, mainly used in the studio and for home use. So yeah, let's um, move on to amplifiers. Okay, let's talk amplifiers. So my main head, which I use live, is a Marshall JBM 410 head from 2007. Uh, underneath we've got the rack unit. Uh, it's a Samsung power conditioner which powers the whole rig. Uh, you get nice clean power from whatever venue you're in then. Uh, a Behringer rack tuner and a Line 6 G55 half rack wireless system. And the Marshall then powers a Marshall 1966B 2x12 with Celestion G12 75s in. And then accompanying that we've also got an Orange PPC 212 uh, with Vintage 30s in. I find that the Marshall and the Orange sort of blend really well together with the uh, with the Marshall head. Uh, it gives it, it gives it a nice sort of nice punchy sort of warm tone. It's it's great, love it. And then that's uh, all controlled by Line 6 Helix LT. This is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated. So um, I actually run the full Marshall JBM as opposed to any ample uh, cab sims on the Line 6. So all the Helix is really doing is um, <clears throat> putting effects in front of the amp, i.e. distortion pedals like tube screamers and compression and EQ. And it's also putting effects in the effects loop as well, like so my delays, my choruses, and my reverbs. And the way that's doing that, that's um, MIDI controlled through the Line 6. And I've also set up the snapshots on this particular preset uh, to change at the top here from clean, rhythm and lead and well that's a wet lead uh, so with my um, delays and reverbs on and that is a dry lead. So what this will do if you click that channel there uh, a preset snapshot on the uh, bright black preset uh, that will be the clean and, and that will send a MIDI signal to the JVM to change the JVM to the clean channel on there and the same as when you click that, that'll be my um, OD1 channel, my rhythm channel, and then my lead channel wet, and then my lead channel dry. And I've also got some stomp boxes at the bottom here, so if I click it onto my rhythm channel, for example, and I want to do a bit of a delay in some of the choruses that we use, I can have that on and off. Again, if I wanted a little bit of reverb on and off, and we've got a chorus on there as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not too complicated. Um, the, the, I suppose the only complicated bit about it was when I wanted to set up the Line 6 to talk to the JVM to change the channels on there and to set it up for the um, gain selections and all the output levels and stuff like that. So I've got a nice sort of blend from the Helix to the JVM. And that's pretty much it really. It's, works for me. Anyway, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of rig rundown on uh, how I achieve my live sound and studio sound. And hope to catch you all uh, at the front. Thanks very much.